What's going on everyone? This is Squishy here and today we're going to be checking out what you guys see right here on the screen, the Wave 2 router. I'm going to be showing you one, how to open up the DMZ and two, how to open up the ports. So stay tuned. All right, everybody, welcome back. So a lot of people's been asking me, Squishy or David, if you know me in person, how do you port forward or use the DMZ on the Xbox or PlayStation for the new Wave 2 routers that Spectrum has released? Okay, so if you're asking yourself that question, this tutorial is definitely for you, but we're going to have to figure out your game console's IP address. So we need to go through a couple steps. Uh, if you guys have a PlayStation, you're going to have to go in your settings and find it. It's in your network settings. Um, I don't. I'm working with an Xbox right now. So if you have an Xbox, just follow along. PlayStation, guys, you suck. Um, no, not really. Yeah, you do. Uh, so you're going to have to go and find it yourself. So first thing you want to do is on your Xbox remote, hit the home button. Going to go ahead and RB it all the way over here to your system settings. Hit the settings. Going to. Well, I'm already on network because I was already here. Um, but usually you start an account, you're going to go down to network, hit network settings. Now you see right there where it says NAT type, mine's open. If yours says strict or moderate, that's no good. And this tutorial is going to teach you how to open it up. Um, for PlayStation people, you're going to see if you say, um, yours says, what is it? Type three, that's basically strict. Um, type two is usually what the normal PlayStation people are on. Um, type one is extremely hard to get. There are like for spectrum, there is a UB router. Um, it's a router modem combo that will allow you to do it. I've done it. So I know it's possible. Um, but the issue is we don't really issue them things out anymore. So that's a little other question. I do keep some on my truck though, because I like to help the play. I like to help any gamer out. I don't, I don't care what, if you're on a game console or PC, um, or the switch, you know, it's a new thing now, but, um, so if you have access to one of those, then, you know, so be it. If you know somebody that can get you that kind of router, uh, modem combo, if not, you can get the Netgear Nighthawk. Um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to search NAT pass through. Um, and you have to be able to edit that because some routers have NAT path path, blah, 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 pass through, sorry, but you can't edit it. And if you can't edit it, you, it just won't work. So anyway, back to the subject at hand. So my NAT type's open because I've done everything and just because I, I have a beastly everything. Um, so what you guys need to do is go ahead and click advanced settings. And you see right there where it says IP address 192.168.1.123. That's what you need to keep a mental note of or just keep it up on your stuff. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and switch over to my computer. If you guys have a phone and you're doing everything on your phone, I'll be walking through that as well. Be letting you know exactly what to hit to get to where I am on the computer. Just computer is a heck of a lot easier and it just looks a lot nicer. You know what I'm saying? So hang tight. We're going to switch. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. And now we're on my computer. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do, whether you're on your computer or your phone right here, um, you're going to want to go to the IP address of the router. It's uh, 192.168.1.1 right here. I have highlighted it for you guys. Um, then to log into the router, it's admin for the username and then admin for the password. It is all lowercase. If you accidentally, <clears throat> there we go, capitalize that, try to log in, it will not let you. It is definitely case sensitive, okay? Um, and I only say that because people with iPhones, um, I know it always capitalizes the first one, so you just gotta switch it. So after that, go ahead and log in. Now, you guys heard that expression, it's so easy, a caveman can do it. Uh, that, that's correct. <laughs> On this one, you guys are gonna be kicking yourself in the butts with just because how easy this is, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down to right here where it says ethernet. Um, if you guys are hardwired, if not, then you gotta go over here to one of the, I'm hoping you're on five gigahertz. If you're not on five gigahertz, you need to put your game console on it, if it can see it. Um, if you're on your phone, right here. Oh yeah, you can't see it when it's on. 
Sorry, even if you're on your phone, you're gonna scroll down until you find it, okay? Um, now, let me see. You're going to look for your IP address. I just lost myself. There it is. <clears throat> so on that screen right there, you're gonna be looking for the IP address. In my case, it's that one, two, three. You're gonna be looking for that on the list. So right here, you see that? It says Microsoft, because it recognizes that it's an Xbox. Um, I'm sure it, for PlayStation, it might say Sony. But right there, it says 192.168.1123. So now you're gonna click on that. You're either gonna click on it, or with your finger on the phone, you're gonna touch it. Do, 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 do. So now it's going to give you the device info. And you can see right up here at the top, that's the device you're in right now. So, you can actually give it a friendly name, say Xbox or PlayStation. You can pick an icon if you want to, a little game console. You can tell, mine's in my garage. You can give it, I mean, you can do all that. But none of that really matters. What matters is this right here. See IP address, and then it says reserve IP. You're gonna wanna click that. <clears throat> See right now, now it says cancel reservation. What this does is it reserves it um, well, right here it shows the MAC address. So every device that is on the internet has a specific MAC address. No one MAC address is like the other, okay? So what this does is it tells your router, hey, I don't care how many devices are on your router, you will not at all give them 192, well, ending in 123 in my case. So you're telling it, um, because sometimes what happens is if you like got a game console on, and then you turn on a cell phone and hook it to Wi-Fi or something, some streaming device, it, it will actually as double assign an IP address, then it'll have an IP address conflict and it just won't work. Um, some devices will let you know, hey, um, IP conflict, you know, that's what's going on. Some, most devices won't. And you're just like, why can't I get on the internet? It's because the IP addresses are conflicting. Um, so you wanna make sure you reserve it, that way the router knows. Okay, so after you reserve it, um, you can hit apply if you want to. Just just be on the safe side. Oh, you see that? It didn't even save any of my stuff. Huh, that's interesting. Let me go, let me go back and hit apply again. Oh, well that's odd. Go back and hit it all again. Oh, there we go. Now it saved it. Huh. So before you name any of this stuff, if you hit reserve, uh, 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 do the reservation, make sure you hit apply first. Anyway, so now what you're wanna, gonna wanna do is you're gonna decide, do I want port forwarding or DMZ? <clears throat> I'm not gonna tell you the difference. What I'm gonna tell you is, if you only have one game console, don't do this for a computer, by the way, the DMZ. DMZ is strictly for your game consoles. Do not do it with a game console. I mean, a PC, I'm sorry. The reason, reason being is, if you do it for a, a PC, or anything, what it does is it takes that IP address, takes that device, and sets it outside of your router's firewall. Every router has an internal firewall. Um, and that's why you need to open up ports sometimes because it's like, hey, you know, this device has to send and receive information through this route, but the firewall will naturally just block it. So you need to open it up, open up the traffic, you know, get it a green light instead of a red light. So if you have one game console in your house, you need to go to the DMZ. So go ahead and click on DMZ. And then right here, just hit add. Bam. Look at that. This device is in DMZ. <laughs> just that easy. Um, so now what you need to do is you need to hard reset your Xbox. I'm not sure if you can do that with a PlayStation. If you're PlayStation, just reset it. Um, on the Xbox, what I mean by hard resetting is you have to hold the power button down until, until it power cycles, until it shuts off manually. You know what I mean? Do not just you know hit it on your controller. It's not the same way. You're gonna release the cache, okay? That's what holding the power button down for 10 seconds does. Um, and then when it comes up, you should have an open NAT type and you should be good to go. But let's just say for kicks and giggles, um, I know I said that wrong, but there might be little kids watching this. Um, you wanna port forward. So go ahead and hit port forwarding. <clears throat> now, what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to port forward um, specifically just to this device. So it's really freaking easy. You see right here, internal host, it's already got it all done for you. So you can, A, you can go on um, Google and you can search 
uh, port forwarding Xbox uh, or port forwarding Microsoft Live, port forwarding Sony PlayStation. And it's going to give you a big list of different ports. Um, it's either going to say TCP, UDP, or TCP and UDP. Um, so what you do is you just do that. You see other, you just leave that alone. And then you do the external host. You type in that one. You type in the external port number, hit add. Um, an easier way to do that though, instead of adding the rule, like let's say you play Call of Duty or something like that. Just go down here to games and applications. Let that load. Um, let's say Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4. Um, I mean, you see even this. Look, PlayStation. PlayStation Network. Or PlayStation 4. PlayStation Network. Did they have Microsoft? Steam. Oh, there we go. Xbox One. So you can hit Xbox One. You can hit Add. Um, so that's Xbox One. Now let's say Call of Duty. Hit Add. Bam. Now you can just hit Apply. And then it saved it. And that's it. See how easier that was than going through manually and doing everything? What I exp how I explain this Wave 2 router to everybody is that it's Spectrums, or if any other company has it, it is their answer to a gaming router. It is their technology. It's got a dual core computer built into it. Um, if you know how to utilize it properly, then it's, it's just, it's beastly. Trust me. I have a $300 gaming router sitting right next to this one and it compares, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. Wi-Fi wise. And it's a little, obviously my gaming router sends the Wi-Fi signal a lot further. I can go down my, you know, start walking down my block and, uh, be on it still with my gaming router compared to that one. So, but to the average cable router, um, this thing just blows them out of the water. I don't care what anybody says. Now, if you are having issues with your Wi-Fi dropping or anything like that, what you need to actually do is you need to go and go into your, um, here, I'll show you real quick. You go into like the Wi-Fi settings and see right here where it says channel selection. You're going to want to go ahead and like throw it on six and then hit apply. There we go. So the reason why the Wi-Fi fall, fails on these ones is because there's a glitch in the system right now. So you actually need to turn it off auto channel selection and go ahead and just apply any channel. Daddy? Hang on a minute, baby. <clears throat> so. Can you watch my phone? Yeah. Huh? Yes. Okay. <laughs> can you sit out the phone? Yes. Can I finish recording my video? <laughs> all right sorry for the interruption my daughter was asking me some questions so i had to cut that little part out um anyway so if you're having wi-fi issues that's why you just need to take this channel selection off auto do it for your two gigahertz band and your five gigahertz band um and then you'll be good to go so you got it all right so that ends this tutorial if you guys have any questions go ahead and leave them down in the comment section if you guys like this and you guys thought it helped you out make sure you guys hit that subscribe button Make sure you guys like the video, share it with all your friends, share it on your social media. That would be awesome. Uh, make sure you guys hit that little bell right next to the subscribe button. That way you always know when I'm uploading a new video or when I'm going live. I usually go live on Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays. So without further ado, this is Squishy. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good night.